Hey everyone, this is Tony Tuches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent hot linking of your images in Nginx and Apache. Now, if you don't know what hot linking is, you'll definitely know by the end of this video, but just real quick, hot linking is when um, another website uses your images from your website via a link. So anytime somebody loads a page on that other website, they're actually pulling the images from your web hosting. And that's not only stealing, right? They're, they're taking the image directly from your website, but it's also using um, a lot of your website resources because your website has to serve that image to the, the other website, to the other user. So um, let's go ahead and see how we can prevent this from happening on your Nginx and your Apache websites. So uh, let's first start off by hot linking some images. And right here I have a, a WordPress website and uh, we're gonna do the hot linking on here, but I also have two other websites. One, uh, and by the way, this is at site2.xyz. I have two other websites. One is running an Nginx web server um, at site3.xyz with this image and uh, a third website is running um, at site4.xyz serving the same image and that's an Apache web server. So let's go ahead and steal some of these images. So let's right click on this image. This is basically the process of hot linking. We can copy the image address and back over in WordPress, let's edit this page and um, we'll get rid of whatever we have here and we'll say this is an image from site3.xyz running Nginx. And then what we can do is directly embed that image right here. So we can do um, image source equals and then the what we just copied, the direct link to that image. Okay. And um, let's see what that looks like back here. If we go back to visual, it's pulling that image directly from site three. And let's do the same thing for site four. Let's copy the image address and go into the, uh, well, let's say this is an image from site 4.xyz running Apache. And then we'll go here and do something very similar and say image source equals, and then the URL to that image, and then we'll close out our image tag. So now we're, uh, we'll fix this up a little bit. We're pulling in this image from site three and this image from site four, and we'll update that and take a look at our post here. So we got those two images being pulled in. There is no prevention of hot linking at this point, obviously, because we're able to uh, load that image on this page. And let me just show you that that's actually happening. So I'm gonna open up developer tools here in Google Chrome. It's view developer, developer tools, or option command I, if you're on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut. And if we load this page, looking at the network tab here, um, and we look at the index right here, we, uh, I'm sorry, we wanna look at the uh, sorted by image. And we see that the the Taj Mahal picture is being loaded. One of them is being loaded from site three and the other one is being loaded from site four, whereas we are on site two. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm not beating a dead horse either way, but uh, let's go ahead and prevent hot linking from happening. So how do we do that? Well, let's log into each one of these web servers and uh, change some configuration files to allow that to happen. So. I am now logged in on the left here to the Nginx web server and on the right here to the Apache web server. So let's start with the Nginx web server. What we wanna do is open our configuration file, which is located at etc uh, Nginx sites available. And then I'm just using the default configuration file. Could be different for you. And in here, we wanna add a location block um, pretty much anywhere, but make sure you're in the server block. And it's gonna look like this. Okay, so let's go through this real quick. So the location block is saying pretty much if you're serving an image with a .gif, PNG, JPEG, uh, or SVG extension, these are considered the valid domain names, okay? So the, the current domain name are considered the valid domain names. So site3.xyz, if it is not a valid, they call it refers in this case, then we wanna return a 403 error. Okay, so that's gonna allow 
anybody outside of site3.xyz, any, anybody outside of that website to not be able to retrieve those images. Okay, so let's save that. We'll do a system CTL restart Nginx to apply those changes. And now if we go back here, uh, let's just first test out site3.xyz. If we refresh the page, we should be able to load that image because our domain name is site3.xyz. But because site2.xyz's domain name is not site3.xyz, we should see a 403 error and see that image disappear. So let's take a look at that. We'll refresh the page. And um, it did not work. Let me uh, make sure that... Uh, Oh, I'll open up Chrome Dev Tools, and this allows us to get rid of any cache. So if we empty the cache and do a hard reload, we should see that image go away. And we do, and you'll see now, if we look at the uh, the domain name site3.xyz, that image associated with it, we do get that 403 forbidden error, and that's not showing up anymore. So that's how you prevent hot linking of images on Nginx. Let's do the same thing for Apache. So over here on the right-hand side uh, for Apache, Let's do um, edit our configuration file, <clears throat> excuse me, etc, apache2, sites available, and then uh, I'm using the configuration file 000-default.conf. And in here, I, I just wanna make sure that you, if you are listening on port 80, uh, you do have this directory block here, um, which is pointing to your document root and you have an allow override all in here or something similar. <clears throat> that allows you to use HT access. Okay, and we'll we'll look at HT access next. Just make sure you have that code that we just looked at. So inside of var www HTML, um, if you don't already have an HT access file, you can create one. So HT access with a dot. So dot HT access. This is in the root of your Apache uh, web web server directory, your website directory, I should say. And then in here we want to do a, uh, a rewrite. So uh, that's gonna look like this. So we're returning the rewrite engine on and um, b basically something very similar we're gonna do. So if if we're, if we see a request with um, a .gif, .png, .jpeg, pretty much any of these image types, we are going to, um, and in, up here, this is saying the HTTP refer is saying that if it's not, if it's not site4.xyz, we are going to return um, nothing. That's what that dash means, pretty much. Uh, they're not going to be able to load the image. So um, do something similar like this on your website, and then go ahead and save those changes. And you might have to do an A2 EN mod rewrite to enable the uh, rewrite module and I already have it enabled, so that's all good. And then to apply your changes, you can do a system CTL restart Apache 2. Okay, so now back over here, uh, we will reload the page. And we, sh well, first of all, let's uh, reload the page on site4.xyc to make sure that's still loading correctly, and it is. But back here on site 2, where we have hot linked the image from site 4, Let's reload the page and we should see this go away. So refresh the page and uh, it's there. Um, let's uh, do the empty cache and hard reload. And that image is still there. So we did something wrong. Let me see if we can figure that out real quick here. So HT access site four is the site that we're working on. Um, we turned the rewrite engine on and we did restart the server so that looks good um let me let me do some investigation i'm not sure off the off first hand here what's going on uh, i'll pause the video and be right back with you all right guys i'm back and it turns out that i had a, a copy paste error here um if we look at the file the ht access file um, the last line here we want this instead of ncrl we want it to be an f um and basically what that's going to do is return that 403 forbidden error for us. So let's make that change and then restart Apache 2 
and refresh the, well, we'll refresh the page on site four dot X, Y, Z. We still get the page loaded. And then back on site two, where we're trying to steal that image, we're, we're trying to hot link that image. Uh, let's refresh the page and we will see that goes away now. And if we look at the domain name, the image associated with the domain name for site four dot X, Y, Z, we see the 403 forbidden error. So, um, as far as Nginx and Apache are concerned, that's how you prevent hot linking of your images. And I hope this video gave you an understanding of what exactly hot linking of images is and why it is could be potentially a huge resource suck um, from, from your website's resources if a lot of people are loading those images external to your website. So um, if you got any value out of this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.